the fire. There's a maid inside, we know it. One Remy Vilroy. Starving in this evening, you know. They eat horse greetings, Witcher. Hear about the White Lady. As I hoped. I notice it's been hanging so long, sun's near bleached it blank. Managed to decipher it somehow, but I need more information. Ask away. Afraid to go out in the fields anyway for fear of ending up like Miko and his band. Miko and his band. Who are they? Four lads, drunkards and good-for-nothings all. They'd drained a few pints and decided they'd all plow the white lady. Maybe then she'd bugger off. Romantics. Hmm. Seems the white lady spurned their advances. They still lie in the field. Folk are afeard to bury him. So the white lady haunts your fields? True. Just past the hut near the old tower. Folk say she's made her home there. So, will you save us from her? White Lady can wait. Let's talk about my pay first. Oh, so be it. I can toss in that bit. Yeah, I'll take care of it. Using more effective means than brave Miko. It's not safe to go out on the streets anymore. Bodies dried to a crisp. Signs of burns. Noon Wraith did this. Hard-headed men. Whatever he saw just before he died gave him quite a scare. Pale skin, but no blood loss. This is no vampire. Expected to see four bodies. Dried blood. Really old. The singeing, on the other hand, is fresh. Unnatural. Medallion vibrates near it. Explore the tower. Blood trail leads to the cellar. Ghouls dragged the body downstairs, but it wasn't their kill. Skin's unnaturally pale. Cracked. Hmm. All signs point to a noon wraith. She's avoiding me. Gotta find something that belonged to her. She'll have to show then. Greetings, Witcher. Seems your white lady's a noon wraith. That means... God's poor Lucy. Lucy. She was gonna marry, right? Yeah. Her parents swore her to a smith from the city. Well-to-do, sure, but older and more brittle than elven ruins. 
Lucy ran from the altar out into the fields, where she slashed her veins, used the silver dagger she'd gotten for the betrothal. Wait, let me show you. Lucy's parents couldn't bear to sell it, bury it even. They left it in my care. I want to send her away, but I've got to bring her close, lure her first. I need an object that belonged to her. Dagger would be perfect. Take it, but kill Lucy. Promise me. She shouldn't suffer no more. Greetings, Witcher. Problem solved. You can go back to your fields. Thank you. Your coin. And may fortune smile upon you. door-to-door -door peddlers. Leave, Witcher, or I'll find some iron jewelry for you, too. Help me! They'll burn me! They'll burn me alive! I've done nothing! Nothing? Nothing? 
Who concocted those poisonous potions? Who helped the Lodge of Sorceresses, sending them reports via Megascope? Who addled men's minds with magic, eh? I know you, Remy. I know you and your crimes. That was long past. It shan't happen again. Oh, we'll make sure it don't. Shackle him. He's cunt too. Mummy! Can't allow this. No one's asking your mind, mutant. Still think you'll listen to me. Or to my sword. To me! At him! What? Lost your nerve? Thank you. If you hadn't intervened, they would have killed me. And Louisa and the boy, I, I tremble at the thought. Triss Marigold. Find her. Might be able to help you. I hope so. Take this. I must abandon magic for good. You might still find use for it. Perhaps the next time you encounter mage hunters. Yeah, something tells me it won't be long. Farewell. Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Corrine Tilly. Oh, you've come to the right place, then. Corrine is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian, or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed... disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, they vary. Giggling in the night and furniture moving about in the attic, and last week... Well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. The second sword, is it in case the... Stop! Go away! Don't do that! Leave it! Wake up. It's just a dream. Wake up. The doll. The attic. All right. Time to check the attic. Put it down, please. That's blood! Don't spill it! Please! Where the next room's blocked. Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. 
Maybe I should find one. Stop! Go away! Don't do that. Leave it! Another masterpiece. An oven and a blackened grate. Oh joy. A riddle. Guess I should find an oven. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it. Please. Did I scare you? Scared you, didn't I? I can tell you were scared. Big brave man scared of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. Or not her wake, neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me. You're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? I'm not tormenting anyone. Scary dreams are great. What I love is when this big hen chases me. Hen's got these red... Why do you live in a haunted house? Tell you a secret. <laughs> the house ain't haunted. Not one bit. I just pretend it is. Make everyone think that. It was sitting there all empty. So I moved in. Bigwig from the bank then came and bought it. I don't like bankers, especially not to live with, so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! See, now I want to do this the nice way. But you just won't let me. What'll you do to me, eh? 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 Burdock. Godlings hate the scent. How would you like a whiff? You're stupid and a pig! Well, Witcher, what have you learned? More importantly, what have you resolved? Something or someone's playing hide-and-seek with me in there. Left signs showing where to go, what to do. I'll try to figure out what's going on, and who it is. A good one to you, young man. Hair's all agree, but by your face and straight back, I know you to be in your youth. Greetings. What do you sell? Herbs, young lad. I've all sorts gathered near about. You'd be surprised what useful plants grow by the roadside. Not that surprised, actually. Monk's hood, for instance. Lovely blossom. Soothes aches and pains, but just a handful and you could poison a whole family. A very useful plant. Yeah. What else would you recommend? Have a look, young man. 
You seem learned in these matters, so I'll show you my special stock from under the counter. You just might have the herbs I need. Take care. He's got swords in his back and never picks his teeth with an axe. Barbarian. Let's play Burton the Witch. Yay! What village are you from? Willows. The strength's gone. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved, or quite the opposite? Burned some burdock in the stove. Godling couldn't stand the smell and fled. And Corrine simply awoke. Anyway, house is clean. Excellent. I must admit the experience has put me off the building. I shan't keep it. I'm mindful of the reward I owe you, and you'll receive a sizable commission. As soon as I'm, I'm able to sell the house. Come by from time to time and ask. The De Yonkiers never break their word once given. Thanks. The second sword. Well, it rains. That and so it pretty pulls. that he can't keep his hands off himself. Just so we're clear, when you lose, you can't claim you don't got the coin to pay. First, I won't lose to you. Dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. You must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions, try to flesh out feelings, emotions. 
truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. It was in Rivia. The second war with Nilfgaard had just ended. There was still tension in the air. For gods know what reason, race riots erupted in the town. I tried to do something, but... Couldn't stop a riled crowd. A boy with a pitchfork. He ran it right through my gut. Jennifer lay dying as well. Siri had us carried onto a boat. We sailed to a place where apple trees bloom eternal. She left us there. That was the last time I saw her. Is there anything you'd like to add? Another memory, perhaps? Yes, there's something else. All right. Tell me no more than you wish to. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon Forest. Happened on a girl there. Didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the Waters of Oblivion? They failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? No. Let's continue. You claim the woman has abilities. Tell me about them. She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker? The rebel burned at the stake. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yourself comfortable and try to relax. You must take my hand and talk of Siri. Tell me where you think she might be. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me, I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion? They liked each other a lot.
dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times, the dreams can multiply. Show the past as well as the future. The swallow. It symbolizes Ciri. She contacted Dandelion. I didn't know he was in town. The poet? Heard about him. Someone left him the Rosemary and Thyme in their will. The Rosemary and Thyme? Where's that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The Rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind keeps blowing and blowing. Lovely supper. Help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short another round. Cause we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witchers earn more. Old villagers pitch in. Lords open their purses. Ladies do light with their legs. <laughs> Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for, anyways? It's to help men in need. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa! Whoa. Master! You best watch your words. We share a trade, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs! Shut it! You'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? Out of my way. We won't do it! I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. Come on, come closer. Enough. We've seen your point, Master. Go home. You're done here. We can go at it here, or at my place. <coughs> Sick. Sick of it all. I'll never come back, you stinking stadges! Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth! Gear up in the nick of time, as always! Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. So ready, big boy! Chase round him! Gotta get around him! That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. 
What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian laggers standing in just fine. You, though, you've withered a bit. Something worrying you. It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> we have a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. Not just barely returned, as you saw. I'm expecting to come home to a hot leg of boar and some cold ale. What do you find instead? A shite storm. Dandelion gone, the tavern chock full of bums. I've no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. Hmm. Ten barrels of Toussaint Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm. Nothing here. No, 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 no! That's exactly what we're looking for! It's his planner! Huh. Dandelion and planning? Good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm. We should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because... Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you yeah. are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying for a go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe go fuck yourself. Julia, like you, agreed to pay him. I will get you every last copper. With interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you hollering for, stupid wench? 
What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespule has got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? The King of Beggars made a deal with Junior. This is his turf now. Didn't hear nothing about that. But you have heard what Bedlam does to people who cross him. Or you need a demonstration. Come on, Fritz. Boss wants it that way. It's how it's gotta be. Thank you. Oh, thank you. To think there are men who'll help a stranger out of the kindness of their hearts. Not entirely out of kindness, and you're not entirely a stranger. What are you... Oh, I know you. You're that witcher took Dandelion out whoring. Gerald, right? Not Gerald. Geralt. Oh. Dreadful sorry. Explain something, if you don't mind. You say I took Dandelion out whoring. So he said. Claimed I was his one and only. But he fell in with the wrong folk. You and that dwarf who always looks like a cow licked him. Said you two were a bad example. Wine, women. Song. He picked that habit up from us too. Gotta have a word with him. What do you think? Where could Dandelion be? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion... Anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. You'll frighten me, kiddies. Welcome, welcome. To... I'm a friend of Dandelion's, looking for Ellie Al. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. You, Eliel? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Eliel was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Eliel. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. Don't think I want to know what happened next. Oh, stop. He wasn't so drunk as not to figure it out. Besides, men don't interest me. I told him that from the start. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button re-affixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me.
Excuse me. I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside. Class is in session. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? You don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day I saw a witch hunter tell a man, you rat, and then he killed him. Liar. That's enough. We're done for the day. Gather your things and go home. Wonder if the rat patcher will get well. Like as not. How do you know? Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. We peruse the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Look at that, Jesus! Look at the power takes the plans the other way to the garden! What do you want? Want to see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want! Miss Rosa don't see just anybody! I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Any needs, Master? Now I've seen it all. Interesting. You fancy men like me? Whole town's going on about it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Varatra to you. And I'd advise you... Who are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher! Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Far Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Won't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so, too. 
Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grip. Grab a wooden one. Take care not to hurt the little miss. You'll learn the ambassador's eye. Follow me. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood to start with. I must know your work. than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the Bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Giving me no choice. Damn it! Well, if you're not an instructor, you should certainly be one. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Sorry, gotta say no. Schedule's packed just now. As you wish. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind, Edna Vaatra, the greatest mischief-maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden? <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. 
Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Changing subjects. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. But who knows? The Bard might have invented her just to make us jealous. Pitiful chorister. I'd say it worked. You've gone all red in the face just talking about it. Your face will be red when I scratch your eyes out. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher.